depending on whether Texas can flatten its curve of infection rates, could you see yourself, you know, you said that uh, shutting down completely is a last resort, but would you consider maybe scaling back some of your phased reopenings, or how close are we to having to do that? Again, the important thing is to follow the data. And as we continue to monitor all of these three metrics that are on these charts behind me, uh, we, we need to evaluate what is the effect of the additional wearing of masks, uh, cracking down on uh, places that are not following the protocols that have been established in here, making sure that everyone is following the best standards to reduce the spread of COVID-19. I believe that if, if these protocols are followed, uh, if people uh, return to the practices that we adopted a couple of months ago to slow the spread, I think we will be able to curtail this expanse. That said, we, we remain flexible with regard to implementing additional strategies, if needed, to make sure that we do contain the coronavirus. Let me emphasize this, and, and that is, you know, looking back at these charts, uh, the, the way that hospitalizations are spiking, the way that daily new cases are spiking, surely the public can understand that if those spikes continue, additional measures are going to be necessary to make sure that we maintain the health and safety of the people of the state of Texas. There's been pretty, in each of these three categories, there's been pretty much a doubling of the numbers in those three categories. If we were to experience another doubling of those numbers over the next month, that would mean that we are in an urgent situation where tougher actions will be required to make sure that we do contain the spread of COVID-19.